media personality, our media personality here in New York City. Uh, I host a morning show on Hot 97 uh, every morning. I also have a radio show in Portland at We1029. I do extensive voiceover work for commercials, for promos, for video games like Grand Theft Auto. Um, I host a series of, um, of events, concerts. I have a podcast with Leah McSweeney called Improper Etiquette that you can subscribe on iTunes and Patreon. And I'm also a co-owner of Envision Fest, which is a Young Women's Empowerment Expo. Throughout my career, I've worked in a very male-dominated field. And I will say, I've had some incredible males that have uplifted me, pushed me, given me great opportunities, but I wanted to see some more female faces. Women have always impacted culture and streetwear. There is nothing without them, you know what I mean? So I, I feel like, so my partner Leah McSweeney launched Married to the Mob, and she was one of the first, I believe one of the very first um, entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs to launch a streetwear line, you know? And from then on, it has, we've seen Dime Peas, we've seen uh, Made Me, We've seen uh, an array of like lines coming that have been uh, successful too, and I think like women have always had incredible buying power, and I think that people sometimes tend to dismiss that, which I think is crazy, because we've been consumers of also male brands. You know what I mean? We all shop male brands and just find the smaller sizes, the smaller shoes. So our buying power is tremendous, and I think that we've always been. There is no culture without women. And one of the reasons I, I created Envision Fest with my partner Sharifa was because I felt like there wasn't um, there wasn't a, a hub or a festival that catered to young girls coming that age coming out of high school, going into college, trying to figure out like, what do I want to do in my life? You know what I mean? So I wanted somewhere where they can go where A, um, they can get education, so they can get some cool panels, some amazing workshops. And I'm talking about stuff that they really need, right? They don't teach at school. Like we had a financial literacy workshop. We had, um, you know, we had a really great workshop with Instagram. We had, um, even workshops on how to protect yourself on the internet, like simple thing that girls um, might not necessarily know right away. You know what I mean? I know I work with a lot of young women with different organizations, and you know, they, there's an age where they're exploring, and we all make mistakes. But I rather than be educated and know before they make those mistakes, you know. But as, as well as like mental health, um, how to break into media. So my passion is to get women that are in different fields that can speak to these young girls so they can see themselves, you know what I mean? And it's really important for me to be multicultural, so it's like women from all walks of life to be represented. And with Envision Fest, we also have a retail component. So it's like we have amazing big brands like Jordan and, H and Hudson and, you know, whatever. But we also um, empower independent brands. So all those young girls who have a brand, who've been working really, really hard, can't afford a store or a booth, we find ways to sponsor them or to uplift them and, and give them opportunities so they can sell their brands with the big with the big boys, a big girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, we cover beauty and wellness, and then I curate a concert every year. But it's all women, uh, female DJs, um, female performers, and um, and I work really closely with the Lower East Side Girls Club to give them opportunities. Also, yeah, I think that. A lot of times we assume that people know certain things and it, it comes as like, oh, that's common sense, it's this, and a lot of times, you know, I think so, social media is a, it has this a great side to it and also has like a challenging side to it because I feel like everyone paints a perfect picture of perfection, but no one ever sees like the hard work and the mistakes especially, right? No one's posting pictures of their mistakes or, you know, their fuck ups. So to me, I think the key is is having more conversations about everything when it comes to business, um, mental health, sex and sexuality, and just simple like brainstorming sessions. Like even with me, I pay attention to my interns, to my young up and coming creatives. You know what I mean? Because it's like they're living what I'm looking for right now. So I think it's really important to to listen to them and to help navigate them and, and, and help them with their with their future plans. I want to hear more. I want more women. If you watch this and you have a dope brand that you're pushing, like tag me, show me, because I want to support it. I, I, I truly, truly am a fan of female entrepreneurs.